Hi everyone, Happy New Year. I hope your year is off to a fantastic start. I'm Michael Krulik, Video Product Evangelist for Avid, and at the end of last year, we released Media Composer 2020.12 with some really great new features. But today, I want to highlight the Avid Titler Plus and the new features that we added there. So uh, first to start out, the workspace that I'm currently in is the edit workspace. I want to create a new one, one that will let me create my titles with a larger display or larger record monitor. So I'll just go in and create a new workspace. We'll call this titles. And now you'll see I have the original edit workspace with source record and a nice new workspace with a larger canvas to create my titles. I have a simple timeline here, just, you know, some edits. I want to mark an in and an out over a range where I want to lay in my new title. And I hit the Avid Titler Plus. Now, when I open up the Avid Titler Plus, you do get the effect editor over here, but you also get the mini menu. And I'm mainly going to stay in the mini menu because this is where I can do probably 95% of the titling that I need to do. So we have the font style, we have uh, justification, we have certain parameters. We're currently set up with the face and shadow activated. But I do want to point out a couple of things, the text and the move mode. We now have two modes here that are set up to help make it easier to create titles. It defaults to text mode, so all I have to do is select anywhere in my video, and I can now start typing a title. Let's just type in uh, across the USA. Perfect. Now, a simple title taking on the parameters that are set here. I'm in text mode, but I actually don't have to select move mode if I want to move. I can choose anywhere outside of the current selection, and it defaults to move mode, so all I need to do is click to select that text string, and I can now move that anywhere I want on my screen. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering, how do I justify that? How do I center it? We do have the justification modes that we had before, which were left, center, or right. But in 2020.12, we now have justification for top, center, and bottom as well. This is all set up by your safe title area. So I could hit center vertically and hit center horizontally, and it now is centered directly in the middle of my video. Now, a nice thing to point out is if we hover over the justification modes here, you'll see that there is a shortcut to be able to justify horizontally left. It's Control shift l of course, on a PC, Command-Shift-L on a Mac. Center it, we add an E for center and an R to justify right. Uh, currently, there are no shortcuts for vertically, but there is a shortcut for centering it. So if I have my text anywhere else on the screen and I'm in move mode and I want to center it, I'm on a Mac, I hit Command-Shift-C, and it centers, of course, on a PC, Control-Shift-C. Ta-da! So, I am still in move mode. In move mode, if I want to go back into text mode, I could click text, and then click anywhere inside here to go in text mode to make any changes. Or, while I'm in move mode, I can simply double-click inside, and it puts me right into text mode. So I could swipe across my title, could double click on the color swatch and change the color of that piece of text. So let's make that, of course, well, let's make it red, white, and blue. Now I could swipe across, but what's also nice is I could double click while I'm in text mode and it now selects just that piece of my title. If I triple click, it selects everything inside of there. But again, I just want to select USA. So double click. USA, and of course, we'll make this blue. Awesome. Deselect anywhere outside of there. I'm now in move mode, and I can now move that anywhere I want. Let's change the font style to be, uh, let's make it Palatino, and we'll center that. Command Shift C. Awesome. Great. If I want to change the size of this, I do have these four points on each corner which lets me change the size of the font without scaling it. Command Shift C. If I do want to scale my text, if I do want to scale the title, if I hold down Shift, I get more points that will let me click and drag to scale the title. Hit Undo, and it takes me back. Let's create a simple lower third where here we introduce editor Sarah Reamers talking about the craft of editing. 
In my timeline, we simply mark an in and an out over a portion of the sequence, and we hit the Avid Titler Plus. We're in type mode, so I can simply start typing. And let's just change the size. of the title. I'm going to copy and paste, triple click, make this one a little smaller. All right. And we'll take both of those. All right. Let's draw a simple box to offset that. Of course, the box is taking on the current parameters that are set up. So let's select the box. We'll turn off the shadow. We'll double click and let's eye drop maybe the color of the pillow. Change the position and also maybe add some transparency. Excellent. So very simple lower third. Again, we could change the color, we could change the font, do whatever we want here. But I actually want to take this title that I created and save it to a bin. It is a, an effect, just like any effect with Media Composer. I can take that and drag and drop it to a bin to save for later. Let me just go ahead and name that SR for Sarah Reamers. Name it whatever you want. But if you haven't seen this before, in a recent version of Avid Media Composer 2020, when in frame mode and you look at any title you've created, you can actually get a representation of it so you're not having to drag it into your timeline every time to see if that's the one you want. You get an actual visual graphic representation of any title that you've created. And you could take that at any point. If you need to use that again, Drop it down into your timeline. Quick and easy. So a quick overview of some of the new features with the Avid Titler Plus in Media Composer 2020.12. Thank you for your time and have a great day.